forgot about my glasses. He started filming and then forgot the glasses, which is kind of an important perk. Then you don't know who I am. Hey there you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Abigail and I post faith-based Christian videos every Sundays and Wednesdays and today is one of those random vlog days that I told you about in my last week's video that I would be posting some random videos throughout December and this is the first one. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along throughout Thanksgiving today. I'm gonna to be spending a lot of time with family and I also thought it'd be fun to do a get ready with me as well. So that's kind of what's happening today. I might also do a small devotion towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. We're just gonna go ahead and um, jump into what I'm gonna be doing with my makeup. So for my eye look, I'm probably gonna do something pretty matte and then do an eyeliner and then mascara. Um, I'm just gonna kind of do a buildup of different colors and just get from like a light like brown like this all the way to a super darker brown like this kind of brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the blending. So I'm curious to know, you guys can let me know in the comments what your guys' family traditions are. Um, my family is still getting together like usual, like we did last year. Now, hear me out. Our, my, most of my family is my neighbors and so we all like my grandma lives across the street and then my aunt and uncle live um next door and so we're usually always together anyways like just throughout the week we'll hang out i'll hang out with my older cousins yeah we're a pretty close family and so with the virus like it hasn't really affected us that much like we still do the things we usually would be doing just because we live so close so then the next color that i'm going to go in with is this color called unwrap and it is from the dream queen palette by Too Faced. this was last year's palette this palette overall i really love this palette i think it was from last year or it was from the year before i can't really remember yeah so today um i'm just going to be going over and hanging out with my family our family is pretty big and my grandma's house is extremely small so most of the younger like Lily little kids will be hanging out in the backyard and while well, us older kids are usually all in the living room. Finally convinced our grandma to let the older ones actually come inside and not stay outside because there's been years. Like I remember when I was a kid, we would sit outside if it was raining, if it was super cold, we would just bundle up and we would be outside. Which I mean, I get the reason why, because when you have all the kids inside, it kind of can get pretty hectic. So I understand where, where she was coming from there. One of my family traditions um, for our family that we usually do is um, we always watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which I feel like that's kind of a lot of families do that. So it might be like, new to hear that somebody's watching the Macy's Parade but that's just what my family has done for years and years. I personally love it. I always find myself waking up though so late, so I'm like watching like the reruns of it. Um, that's always great, you know. And once I've kind of blended that color in, I'm gonna go in with the color Cozy, um, which is from the Tarte Toast palette. And I'm just gonna be putting this in more in the outer crease, like out here. Another family tradition, call it a tradition that we have, is we have this thing called Elfing um which we will i will probably be vlogging on that day as well so i'm just going to kind of give you the little gist of it the sunday after thanksgiving my grandma usually always has a ton of leftovers and so we will all go um gather back together and we will um do elfing and that basically means that so my grandma has a bunch of these elf ornaments and each person has their own elf so every time there's a new addition to the family we will add that to the tree. But yeah, that's one of the traditions that I love and I'm gonna hopefully get to film it because I think that will be a fun thing to look for me to look back on and to look back and see when we used to, used to do that. <clears throat> so um, I'm actually editing this video right now and I really did not vlog like today. Today's actually Sunday. 
and I did not vlog whatsoever because there was it just was not a lot to like make a whole video on so I'm just gonna add in a couple clips that my aunt actually took from that day it's literally two and they're not very long but just so you could kind of somewhat get an, an idea of what we do on that day there's also some pictures as well so I'm gonna add that in in five four three two one Jeffrey? Jeffrey Paul. Okay, and show me the other one. This is for the unknown. And the reason I'm giving her him this one is because uh, Hope bought it down there at Banny. See what I mean by like not a lot of footage? All right, let's just go back to the Thanksgiving vlog. So we're back at Thanksgiving now. All right, so then the next color that I'm going to go into is this color. Um, that They don't have this palette anymore, but it's this kind of darker color. It's not a super pigmented color, which I like because it's very buildable, um, which for me personally, I just like that a lot better. I kind of sort of want to take that same flat brush, and I kind of really want to brighten up just my inner corner. So I'm first going to take the color Polar Bear from the Dream Queen palette from Too Faced, and I'm just going to go into my inner corner and just start packing that color in the inner corner. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go in and do a winged eyeliner, but I have to put like my arm on the table, literally, because I have a very like movie hand, if that makes any sense. So I'll be back. All right, so there is the look and the lighting in here is still bad. My face still looks extremely orange. This is the look, I, this is the second time I've done it. So I still haven't perfected it to the way I would love it to look. Oh, also I forgot to mention my hair. I'd actually curled my hair yesterday and then just slept on it this morning. I added like two or three touch up curls. I used the technique for, I'll put it up here in the cards. Um, it's my everyday curls. Okay, my mirror is like literally extremely dirty, but I am wearing these shoes which are from JCPenney's. Jeans are from Rue 21. This jacket is, or this flannel is from Old Navy. And then the shirt is from, it says Jesus, it's not religion, it's relationship. And that is from, what is that place called? I don't know, I'll put it up here so that you guys know where it's called. So right now I'm getting ready to go over to my grandma's house. So peace out. Okay, Kyrie, do you want to be filmed? No. Okay, you won't be in this. But you are. Right. So, guys, um, we're taking a million pictures right now. All right, so I currently just got back home from like our Thanksgiving dinner or whatever you want to call it, lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I figured that I would end off this vlog by just sharing a little devotion with you guys. So this is for my Jesus Caller devotion, and um, I really wanted to read you guys um, today's devotion just because especially i think it's only appropriate especially with it being thanksgiving it says this is the day that i have made 
As you rejoice in this day of life, it will yield up to you precious gifts and beneficial training. Walk with me along the high road of thanksgiving and you will find all the delights I have made ready for you. To protect your thankfulness, you must remember that you reside in a fallen world where blessings and sorrows intermingle freely. A constant focus on adversity defeats many Christians. They walk through a day that is brimming with beauty and brightness, seeing only the grayness of their thoughts. Neglecting the practice of giving thanks has darkened their minds. How precious are my children who remember to thank me at all times. They can walk through the darkest days with joy in their hearts because they know that the light of my presence is still shining on them. Rejoice in this day that I have made for I am your steadfast companion. The three verses that go along with this devotion is, um, this is the day the, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118, 24. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. Psalms 116, 17. And you are my God, and I will give you thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Psalms 118, 28. I feel like in today's society, thankfulness is only for a certain day of the year, when in reality, it should be something that we should be continually practicing throughout the rest of our lives. This past Sunday, I, um, I think I did. I filmed it. I don't know if I uploaded it. Um, I filmed a video talking all about Thanksgiving, and I really recommend that you guys watch it. But I think one of the most hardest things for us to give thanks to God is when we are in the lowest valley. In Philippians, Paul is in prison and he is talking about giving thanks to God to not worry about anything, but in everything with prayer and supplication, let our requests be made known to God. And I find it so funny that he's telling us to give thanksgiving to God when he is sitting in a prison cell. And I feel like a lot of times we are in our own prison cells, whether that be in our minds, we're trapped and we feel like we're enslaved to our minds. But God is really wanting us to practice Thanksgiving because he knows that it'll benefit us. Um, in that last video that I'll put up here in the cards, I had talked about my journey with actually giving thanks to God. And I'm still on that journey. And um, it's not something that's just going to end here in November. It's just going to continue out through, I'm hoping, the rest of my life. Will I be perfect? Absolutely not. But I think it's so important because it's reminding us, it's keeping that focus onto God. It's bringing God into our walk and looking for ways in which we can praise God. Because there's always something that you can praise God for. Tonight, we had a sunset. Um, and it was really a really beautiful sunset. And it reminds me that God is still the same yesterday the same today and the same forever and that God you know brought me through today and if that promise remains for tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day he will bring us through whatever trials we might be going through so I want that to be an encouragement to you guys as you guys end out this day or you know whenever you guys are watching this video is that God's God remains the same he is the same yesterday today and forever he will always remain the same and we should be thankful throughout this whole life's journey so with that being said, um, I hope that you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving. I know it's already happened, but I hope that you guys all have an amazing week and I will see you guys all in my next week's video. If you are new here and you haven't done so already, you guys can click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And especially on these days where I'm filming random videos, you won't want to miss out on them. That being said, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.